Hello ladies and gents, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Onshape assembly window to connect parts together and then animate them using Onshape's animate features. Um, this is very simple to do and you can see here I've got two um, parts that I've made. Um, I'm able to animate these with the Revolut connector, uh, the Revolut Make connector which um, allows things to, as the name suggests, revolve. So if I open up the connections that I've created you can see if I press this play button um, that opens up in the Revolut options screen um, that rotates 180 degrees and if I click on the green check mark to escape out of that and then go to my other connector uh, that I've made um, click on the play button there and you can see the, the hand on the dial moves 90 degrees um, so we're going to look at how to do that um, so it's very simple first you're going to start off in the part studio you go into create your parts so I've got four parts here I've got the rotor the axle, the dial, and the hand. Um, I use the extrude tool on those to turn them into 3D shapes. And now I just need to insert them into the assembly window. Since I've already got my first assembly window with this already done, I can click on that insert new tab in the bottom left hand of the screen to create a new assembly window. And this one is called assembly two. So all I need to do now is click on the insert button at the top of the screen and insert the parts that I want to connect together. So I'll click on part one, um, move that wherever I want to place it, click to place it, and I'll zoom out a little bit and start to place the others. Part two, move it into place, click. Part three, move it into place, click. I'll zoom out a little bit there, move along. And uh, part four, place that, click. There we go, that's done. And now I can close the insert parts window by clicking on the green check mark like that okay so now it's time to connect these and get them animated so it's really simple click on the revolute mate and then it's going to ask for the part the first part is the part that you actually want to move that you want to see move so I want to move the rotor so if we just zoom in here you can see if I move the mouse cursor around it um, gives me uh, the choice of lots of different rotation points I want it to rotate using the, the that center circle that I'm going to place over the axle. So I just highlight that um, and then click to apply that. And you can see it appears in the Revolut um, modifier list in the top left hand side. So with that selected, now it wants a second part. So I'll move the mouse cursor over the end of that axle. You can see that little black and white target. It changes the look of um, where the rotation point is changes I move the mouse cursor and as I move it right to the center there I got that that little black and white target so click that and they snap together and now if I click on the play button um, it moves 108, uh, 360 degrees so if I want to change how far that actually moves that's very simple I'll just simply click in that limits um, checkbox so click that and it will open up the minimum angle and the maximum angle. So this is the range that it's gonna move within. I can't put zero, you'd usually think, well, I'm gonna start at zero degrees, but Onshape will treat that as if it's um, undefined. So you just need to put a very small angle. So we'll put 0 0.001 in there. You always need something. So we'll make it very, very small so you don't even notice it. And then in the next one, I'll put 90 degrees. Um, and then press enter and if I click on the uh, the play button it moves 90 degrees and if I click on that 90 degrees again let's say I change that to 180 and press enter and then hit the play button again it moves 180 degrees there we go and then when you're happy with that you can simply click on the um, green check mark um, and that's that set up and if I want to go back in and make edits I just double click in the make features list and the window opens again and I can make edits and if I don't want to I can just click on the red X and close out of that um, and it won't save any changes that I've made um, okay so let's move on to the other one uh, it's the same process click on the Revolut mate uh, we'll go in to choose the um, circle the empty circle the hollowed out part of the dial um, so I'll click that now this is going to move anti-clockwise and I want it to move clockwise so what I'm going to do here is click on these little three dots in the uh, the list here in the in the Revolut properties and um, click on that another little window will appear and I'm going to click on flip primary axis 
and you can see that the little icon um, changed. If, you, if I click it again, watch the icon change. Uh, so you can see it switching. So there we go. Um, and that will change the, the, uh, the way it moves. So I can click the X to click out of that and now select my second part. So I want it to be the, uh, the center of this dial. So click, snap those together. Um, if I click the play button, it will move 180 degrees clockwise. Uh, I'm going to put the limits in, so check the limits box. Again, in minimum, put 0 0.001. And then for maximum, I'm going to make this move 180 degrees and then press enter. And then um, click on the play icon. There we go. And um, that animates like that. Okay. Uh, and then when you're happy with that, click on the green check mark. Um, and you're done. So that's how you use the mate connectors. Um, there are different mate connectors that do different things. In this video, we've just looked at the Revolute mate, so we can make things move, um, we can revolve different things. Well, that's how you animate and that's how you make things snap together in the assembly window. So before we wrap this video up, we're just gonna take a look at one more thing. I'm going to show you how to animate your parts without going back into the connections panel and editing the settings and pressing the play button. What I can do instead is fix parts in place. So right now, if I click on this propeller, I can move the whole thing around in the assembly window because it isn't fixed in place. So what I'm gonna do instead is right click on the axle so this menu appears and then click fix to fix that axle in place. I can then click on the other part and just by moving the mouse, I can move that around the axle because the axle is fixed in place, but the other part isn't fixed. So if I right click on that, you can see it gives me the option to fix it as well, but I'm not going to do that because I want to be able to move it. It's the same for the, uh, the other thing that we've created, the dial. If I click on the blue section, right click it, and then fix that in place. So that won't move if I click on the, the part and move, I can't move it around the window. So now I can click on the hand and just move that within the, the limits that I set up earlier. Remember it was 180 degrees, so it won't go beyond that 180 degrees. And then I can move it back to the starting position just by moving the mouse cursor. So that's it, that's how you um, add uh, parts in the assembly window and use the uh, the mate connectors to um, put things together and uh, and animate them uh, so you try that yourself and um, see what you can come up with